So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So anytime I have a graph, I like to start off with looking at what is the x-axis. Here we have height. What is a y-axis? Here we have weight. Looking at the trend of the, of the graph of our line, looks like it's positive, right? We're going up and right to get from point to point. Um, is there a y-intercept? Hmm. Okay, so this looks like it's supposed to be the y-intercept, but it's actually not because the y-intercept always corresponds with x equaling 0. And this point right here is actually where x equals 58, right? So we know that this line actually continues on this way off the screen somewhere where it actually does touch the y-intercept somewhere. So uh, we have pounds, we have inches. Okay, that's all I can pretty much tell. So looking at the information here, it says each data point on the scatter plot gives the height x in inches and weight y in pounds for a llama in a sample of 10 llamas. A line of best fit is also shown. So we already saw our line of best fit. And then of course, each of these points represent a llama, right? So some of them are on the line. A lot of them are above the line. Some of them are below the line. So question 12 here says, which of the following best approximates the equation for the line of best fit shown? So anytime I see the wording equation for the line, I'm going to think y equals mx plus b. Taking a glance at my answer choices, however, it looks like they've kind of reversed that order, which is perfectly fine. And they've written it as y equals b plus mx. Now, nothing changes about what b and m represent. B will always represent the y-intercept. And we've already said, I can't tell what that is just by looking at the graph. Maybe I could figure it out if I drew more or I don't know. But I can't tell what that is just by visually looking at the graph. The m value is always going to be the slope. And I just like to write down to, as a reminder that slope is always rise over run. Okay, so that... I should be able to figure out. I should be able to figure out what my slope is. So let's erase some of this drawing on the graph, and let's find two good points to determine what the slope is. So I like this point here, right? So I'm going to say that that's at a y value of 200. And then I like, let's say this here. It's not an actual point. It's not a llama, but it is a point on the line, right? On the line of best fit. And that has a y value of 300. So to get from First box, to, first box to second box, I'm going to rise 100, right? Because so I'm going from 200 to 300. And I'm going to run, looks like from 60 over to 66, I'm going to run 6. So if that slope is rise over run, I'd have 100 divided by 6. That, when I put that in my calculator, is roughly 16 point something there. Um, I don't see that as an answer choice for, for my M value. I do see 15.3, which I'm going to be okay with because, again, I estimated where these points were. There may be, I may be a little off. It may not have exactly been a difference of 100 and a difference of 6 here. So I'm okay with that. I do know for sure that this 16 is positive. I know my line is moving in a positive direction. So I do like a positive answer for my slope. So for that reason, C and D are both gone because those are both the negative slopes. And then for choice B, 706, right? I may not have gotten this perfect, but I know I'm not that far off, right? So I know that my slope is not 706. So for that reason, B is gone. And therefore, choice A is the best answer here.